Hey YouTube, it's Susie's on the scene. But anyway, um, I'm probably not going to do overtime Saturday. So I can go and get my oil changed early in the morning, Saturday morning. Because I'm supposed to be going to a birthday party Saturday night for one of my co-workers. My co-worker, she supposed to be um, turning 50. Yeah, she she invited a lot of people from work and stuff, and um, she told me to make sure I make Elliot come. And I'm like, <laughs> he said, "Don't know if he coming or not." And um, she was like, "He better come." And then when I talked to him, he he was like, "He might come, and if he do come, if anything look like it ain't right, <laughs> he gonna leave." Because, you know, um, old girl that he had that problem with might beat her. So he, you know, really don't want to end up running his behind. Even though he still at work, but they make sure they avoid each other at work. Because, you know, management and stuff, they was like, uh-uh, y'all better not be around each other. But y'all gonna be in trouble. One or both of y'all gonna be in trouble. So they can they avoid each other at work or they ignore each other at work. But you know, out in public, he may be tempted to say something to her or smack her <laughs> or so like this. So he just don't want to be nowhere where she gonna be. At. And I told him I understand it. I said because I'm in there. I mean, I been on the job 16 years and I may have been to three or four. Uh, parties or whatever, you know, for co-workers, other than lunch, you know what I'm saying, but just like regular parties, Christmas party or whatever, or whatever. Christmas party, birthday party like that, they wasn't like on our lunch time, you know, I only been to like uh, maybe three in 16 years, so I feel him, <laughs> I feel him. We we work with some dramatic people. I didn't tell y'all. Then my dad a friend dad. There's an older guy. They used to stay down the street from us. And he, okay. Hold on. <laughs> the guy used to stay down the street from dad and I Pete, right? He died a few weeks ago. He uh had been on dialysis, I know at least three years, not long. And um he had been feeling bad, you know. I mean he been he been going he had been going to most of his dialysis appointments, but I don't think he had been going to all of them. And then he said he was hurting, but he had been having other issues and we was like, okay, you go to the doctor almost, you know, you go to the doctor every other day. Why you didn't tell somebody that you weren't feeling good? Why don't you let them check you out? And just so happened the days that he tell us he not feeling good are the days that he didn't go. And that he wants schedule to go. So we like, dude, go to the doctor. Then he be sitting him out. Somebody going to take him. We were like, why you can't drive yourself? You've been driving yourself. What's wrong with you driving now? When you got to go to the house, you drive to the house. But now that you got to go to the, a regular doctor or emergency room or wherever you got to go, you want somebody to take you. You just stall him. I ain't go to the doctor. Dad was like, shoot, call 911 hit. If you want to get a ride, <laughs> call 911. Let them take you. Let the ambulance take you. He ain't want to do that. I don't want everybody in my bed. Dude, you want somebody to take you to the doctor, but you don't want everybody to know you're going to the doctor. Don't confuse. So he just played around and played around, and Dad was like, he had like he wanted that. And he died sitting in the car. Mm. Didn't want to drive to the doctor, you know, other than going to dialysis, but you you in the car that much you he was sleeping in the car sometime because he he was like 60 something I think 63 63 or 
six to five, something like that. But uh, are you getting over? Why are you watching? I don't know what they get. But anyway, he used to um, he was staying with his mom and some of his brothers and stuff. And I think some of his nieces and nephews stayed there too. You know. I'm like, why are you even there? Nah, I'm almost 40 and I don't want to be with my dad, but I'm trying to help him keep his house. Man, man you 60 some. And y'all mama 80 some. And she's still working. <laughs> At a restaurant. <laughs> I'm like, y'all, oh, y'all need y'all angst kicked. But anyway. He died of whatever other complications besides the dialysis issue. I know he, he was saying he had been trying to get a kidney. And his folks were saying he better not get him no kidney. <laughs> so they didn't like him. He didn't get along with his people at all. But anyway, it's this lady. She's a white lady. And I mean, it don't really have nothing to do with it. But that's just for descriptive purposes. <laughs> Um, she, and I, um, but anyway, she, um, got issues, and the reason why I say she got issues is because she is 45, 47, something like that. She stay with her parents. All this dead be stay with her parents. But anyway, uh, I'm not the only one that worked out. It's actually helping doing so. But anyway, um, she's literally a mental case. You know what I'm saying? And it's not make fun of her or teasing her or just saying something just to be saying something. She's mental for real. Because she would clown with her folks and they were they in there I think they in their 80s too because she got some older brothers and then she was like the last one I think she was a surprise child like am I going through menopause nope surprise you're pregnant you know she was one of them so yeah she crazy but anyway she clowns with her folks she don't want to listen to them, so they calls the police on her. And of course, since she mental, they don't never take her to jail. If they do, they end up transferring her to some mental ward somewhere. Lakeside or however, whichever place it is. And then they make her stay for a few days and then they let her out. Till she get calmed down. And not only is she mental, she, uh, she smokes dope, weed, crack, whatever she can get her hands on, and she drinks. Now, only thing I've ever seen her drink is non-alcoholic beer, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure she drinks something else too, because she's just outrageous with herself. But um, anyway, since. Uh, Stray Cat went to Texas. You know, crazy lady that don't have no friends. She tried to be cool with this lady that stayed around the corner from her. But she, you know, she be like, oh, no, I ain't got no patience for you. Because you know it's for real. So crazy lady likes to hang around dad. And since she w wants, you know, female friends too, she hangs around well, tries her hands with me, but I don't fool. I'm like, oh, lady, please. And the reason, I mean, she used to hang with the dude that died. That, you know, that's how we even knew who she was. Because they stayed, like, right across the street from each other. And they used to hang together. I think they used to smoke dope together, whatever. But, um, you know, daddy, he just friendly. He friendly, he just talk to people and 
when they get on his nerves, he do something to make them mad and leave. <laughs> and that's how he does her. Can be so funny sometimes. But anyway, uh, I she wants to be my friend. Cause one night she called and she she called sometimes and she asked to speak to dad. She talked to him for a minute. And then she'd get out the phone and then she'd call five minutes later. She always called like three times back to back. I don't know what the heck she was talking about. But whatever. One night she called. She asked to speak to me. And I'm like, what she want to talk to me for? And he like, I don't know. I get on the phone. She was talking about going to some festival and going to her and going there. And I'm like, okay. That sounds nice. She was telling me she was going. She was like, even if you would like to go, just let me know. And la 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 la. And I'm like, mm. and I'm like, you ain't got no car. So that means you tell me all this, thinking I'm gonna take you. No man. No man. If my daddy won't even take you to the grocery store on the day that he going to the grocery store, why would I take you to a festival? Carnival, whatever the heck it is, why would I take you? He know you better than I do, and she just get the saying stuff. Cause I mean, she had been coming around like a, for a year, and like I said, she's a white lady. She ain't never said nothing derogatory, meaning the n word to us. Then all of a sudden, she just man, she was having this, this particular conversation with the dude that died, right? And she just stayed mad at him all the time. <clears throat> Cause they used to mess around. <coughs> Ooh. But anyway, she stayed mad at him. And one day she just kept calling the N-word, N-word over and over again. And um, my dad was like, look, I let you say it a couple of times. But where is all this coming from? You ain't been talking like that. You know what I'm saying? If I, if one of my relatives or my nephew or one of my, uh, you know, one of my nephews and one of my grandsons or something was here, they'd be done sprung on you. See, I'm an old man. I don't fight people. You know, but if in my younger days I would have got your tails the first time you said it. But you're going to have to cut that out or you're going to have to leave. And she, just, she was like, okay, okay. And then this thing you know, she's saying it again. He's like, oh, no, nah, you got the road. So, she do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? She just snap for no reason. We be like, dang, you knew dude was down here. You know y'all don't get along. Why you come when you know he here? It was just stupid stuff. And then sometimes they get to talking and um, she would disagree with what dad would say or what the other dude was saying. Then she'll start mumbling, and <clears throat> I, <laughs> I kind of um, call it her speaking in tongue, but she ain't talking to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she ain't talking to Jesus or God when she's speaking in tongue. I don't know who she talking to, Beelzebub or whoever, but <laughs> she ain't talking to no holy uh, person or entity. She's not talking to no holy entity. Cause she be she end up snapping and start talking real, real crazy after she do her speaking the tongue thing. And daddy be like, You alright? He be laughing. You alright? Yes, I'm fine. So and so so and so so and so. I'm leaving. <laughs> he be like, see you later. <laughs> he be laughing. But she's just, she just nuts. But I'm like, dang, why you, how you gonna pick me to be your friend? I don't wanna be your friend. That, and you know, dad had already told her, you know, nigga don't want, that's what they call me, nigga, nigga don't want you to be her friend because she ain't got nothing in common with you. I got friends that I got a whole bunch of crap in common with and I don't spend that much time with them like I probably should, you know. But I'm just a loner, you know what I'm saying? But Lord knows I'm not finna hang with no fool that was that'll just start talking crazy any minute now and then a bust out and say, you know where I where I can find some crack. Bitch! <laughs> Thanks for watching.